Hi guys, and welcome to another Beaver Builder video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, today in this video, we're going to be using the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder. We're going to create this little flip box. Um, made plenty of videos before about how to do them from scratch with CSS and HTML and other builders. Been working on a site for a client and came across this and it's a it's another one that's really easy to do so if you a beaver builder user and you want to use ultimate add-ons this is what you need to do so let's get started let's open the beaver builder once open let's go down to where we want to work which is right here and we'll hit the little plus icon up here to add a module now these are all the standard modules that come with the Beaver Builder. We're using the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder today. So if I hit this little drop down arrow here, ultimate add-on for Beaver Builder, and it gives you all these other modules you've got here. And right over here is one that says flip box. So I'm going to left click on it and drag it down to my little column right there. And there it is by default it's put a little box right in there and if we look at it we've got flip box front flip box back style so at the moment I'm on the back let's go to the front let's flip I'll just leave that as it is it's got a little icon right there you can put a photo in if you prefer but if you want to edit the icon just click on the edit icon replace and it comes up with all these amazing icons. Just select whatever one you want. There it is right there. You won't see the changes until you hit save. You can make it bigger or smaller. Let's say uh, 50 pixels. Icon background style. You can have simple, which is what you're looking at there. You can have a circle background. Like I say, you won't see it until I hit save. Square background, or you can design your own. I'm going to put a circle background in there. If I hit save now, you should actually see that change. There we go. And so let's edit the icon settings again, because that background is kind of not exactly the color I want. Now, icon color, I think I'll leave that just as it is as white. That's just off white at the moment. Right over here, if you slide that up all the way, or just simply type in FFF, FFF, you've got white. Background color, let's have crazy purple color or something. That's fine. Opacity or see throughness, put the percentage in there. 100% obviously is fully visible, 0% is invisible. Now you can put a gradient in there if you want to. I'll leave it as it is at the moment. So that's pretty good for the icon, I believe. I'll hit save. You should see those changes. There we go. It's got the purple background and what have you now. Okay, title on the front. Let's flip. Obviously change it to what you want. And the content right here. Change it to what you want as well, obviously. For me, I'm going to leave it just as it is because I really don't have anything to say about that at the moment. <laughs> now we're down to front styles, background type, you can have a color or an image. So I'll leave it on color for the moment. And don't know what color is going to go with that. Let's try a light blue. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. Okay, we'll leave it like that. Obviously, put in whatever color you want. If you want a border, Put a border in here at the moment it's solid one pixel I'm just going to leave mine like that border radius this is when you make it rounded or if you want to make your corners rounded give it a pixel value see it's done that first corner and repeat obviously get some great effects by putting different values in for instance if we put uh,
you know, you can get all kind of different shapes. Uh, for me, I like it more symmetrical. Obviously, you put in whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know if we can do percentage. I don't know if you can actually make it round. But uh, I'll leave mine as symmetrical like that. Or even like this. There we go. Keep rolling down. You can use these sliders to bring it up and down too to experiment. And if you want to add a box shadow, put in the color that you want. And you can draw in the values here. And again, you've got a slider if you want to use a slider, I think. See that huge shadow in there? Blur 10, spread 10. That's a little dark for me. And like I say, you can use the slider to reposition it wherever you want it. See it changing there? There you go. Now, like I say, that's a little dark for me. So let's bring the opacity down, which is this slider right here, and sort of fade it into our background. So it's there. But it's not quite as obvious. There we go. And that's it really for the front there. You say, what about this here? Well, if we go over these three little dots here, you can change the typography. And you got your title. And you got front title color. Actually, that's too close to what we had, I suppose. And you can give it a margin at the top, which will push it down some. Margin at the bottom, which will give it space between it and the content. Now here's our description color. I'll just make that white. There you are. You can add text shadow style and spacing if you need to. So let's move on to the flip box back. And again, I'm going to leave everything just as it is. Only thing I'll change here is exactly the same as doing the front. I'll give it an image instead of a background. Select photo. Ah, let's put a crazy picture in. Doesn't really matter what. As you can see, it's in there now. Center, center, that's fine with me. Don't want it to repeat. I do want it to cover, that's fine. Border, same as you got on the other side. I won't mess with those. We'll keep it square on the back here so you can flip from round corners to a square one when it flips. If you want to show a button, hit that hit that to yes. And as you can see, it's put a little link in there or a button. Let's edit the button settings. Put in whatever text you want. Put the link in you want here. I'll just put a hashtag in there. You can choose whether open in a new window or you can make it a no follow link if you don't want it to be followed by the bots. Style default, flat, gradient, transparent. Let's make it flat. Hover style. You can add an icon if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. And obviously select your icon here just like we did on the front where you want to position your icon. Text color, well, we'll keep that as white. Text hover color, we'll keep that as white too. Background color, um, what's going to stand out on there? Let's use a crazy bright pink or purple or something. Opacity again, that's the see-throughness. See what color do you want it on hover? Let's change it to a bright blue or something silly. Again, opacity. Width, you can give it a fixed width if you want to. You can make it full width or custom. Rounded corners. Again, you can just put in a little value. Let's put a small value in there, five pixels. It'll give it slightly rounded. I want it center aligned. Typography. 
style and spacing. You choose your font here, obviously, style and spacing. If you want it normal, capitalized, or uppercase, you can give it text shadow if you wish. I'm going to make my font slightly bigger there. Let's make it 20 pixels. And just so we can see, I'm going to do a quick save. And as you can see, it's changed to the colors that we were putting in there. So we're pretty much there, I believe. Last thing I want to do is just change that back text to a lighter color. So we'll go up to the dots again. The typography. Front title color, front description, roll on down. Now we've got back description. Now here's the back description color. And I'm just going to change that to white also. Okay, that is all I want to do. Let's save our changes. Let's hit the done button up here. Save the draft. There we have it. That's a nice little effect. As you can see, the front is completely different from the back. Different shape. Front's got a box shadow. The only thing I didn't cover here, I'll go back in there quickly and show you the different effects. You can have it, do it going different ways. So let's just enable the Beaver Builder one more time. Quickly go down to where we were. Just click on the module to bring it up. And if you go to the style, we're flipping horizontally from the left at the moment. You can do it from the right, from the top, from the bottom. Let's change that to top. You can display the full content and adjust the height. Or give it a custom height. Let's give it a custom height. Let's say 350. It'll be a lot more than that one next door to it. As you can see, it's grown a little bit. That way, if you've got more or less content in these boxes, and you want to make them the same height, you can just use that. So let's just save that, and we are done. Hit the Done button again. Save the draft. Roll on down. And now it should be rolling from the top, which it is. And you can see both the back and the front are the same height. And that's a nice little effect. Of course, you can put anything in there you want. Design it exactly how you want. We've gone a little crazy with ours today, but that's going to catch people's eyes. So there you have it. There's how to create a nice little flip box with the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.